Welcome to Goofing Off Road. My name's Tony. As you can see, sometimes accidents happen. That's the way of the world. But this is a good opportunity for what I would call a forced upgrade. So today we're going to install a rugged ridge Arcus winch bumper and a worn winch on the General. Let me show you how to do it. We're gonna start off by removing the stock bumper. You're gonna need a 7mm socket, an 8mm socket, a 13mm socket, a 16mm socket, an 18mm deep socket, a pry tool and flat bladed screwdriver, some ratchets, and if you have one, an impact gun. The first thing to do is remove the piece of plastic between the bumper and the grill, and we're gonna do that by taking out these two clips and the five clips that are back here. Now we need to unplug the fog light connector, which is on the passenger side frame rail. Now we're gonna remove the plastic balance by undoing these two eight mil bolts and five clips along the bottom. Now that all the fasteners are removed, you can take the balance off. Now I'm gonna remove this lower cover to make it easier to get to the bumper bolts. The bumper's held on at both sides at the end of the frame with four bolts, here and here. So we're going to remove the bumper by taking the bolts off at the back. With the eight bolts removed from the rear, you can now pull the bumper off from the front. And now you can see the front bumper has been removed. We need to take the factory fog light out of the bumper. First thing we need to do is remove the clips from the cover at the back. And now to undo the light, we need to remove the four seven mil bolts. Now we can unclip the harness and remove the light. I need to remove the stock fog light wiring harness. To do that, I'm gonna remove these eight bolts holding the plastic trim to the metal bumper. With the metal inside removed, now we have to take out a million seven mil bolts that are holding the two plastic shells together. And now we can remove the stock wiring harness from the inner plastic liner. And that is the quick and painless way to remove the stock fog light wiring. The Rugged Ridge Arcus Bumper comes with all the parts you need to install it and put a winch in. It has a winch plate, the bumper, tow hooks, all the nuts and bolts, and even the instructions. To install the winch and the bumper, you're gonna need a 13 mil socket, a 16 mil socket, a 16 mil wrench, a 55 Torx, a flat bladed screwdriver to wiggle the bolts around underneath the winch and a ratchet. Before we can install the winch plate, we need to remove these OEM horn brackets by taking out the 16 millimeter bolts. Now we can slide the winch plate into place and loosely secure it with the two 16 mil bolts we just took out. Because the winch is heavy, to be safe, I'm just gonna use these brackets and bolts to secure the winch plate while we put the winch in. We're going to install a worn winch. Worn winches may be a little bit more expensive, but they're super reliable. And when you're out on the trail, you want your winch to work. The winch comes with all the parts you need to install it on your winch bumper. This winch comes with a synthetic rope and a wireless controller. Before you put the winch on the winch plate, Take these square nuts and put them into the mounting slots on the winch. 
Then pick up the winch and put it on the center of the winch plate. We test fit the winch and the wires were coming out the back here and it didn't leave enough space for the winch to sit flat. So I modified the case so they came out the side and now it will fit. Now we need to attach this earth lead to the winch and then we can install it. Lift the winch onto the winch plate and loosely secure it with the provided nuts and bolts. If the bolt holes don't line up exactly, you can use a screwdriver to line them up. I ran a string down the middle of the Jeep to the center of the winch plate, and then I moved the winch so that it's in the middle. Now I can tighten the bolts up underneath. We took the positive and negative leads from the winch, ran them up by the frame rail, and connected them directly to the battery. Now I'm going to install the fair lead to the front of the bumper. The next thing to do is remove the two outer frame horns and put in the support brackets for the bumper hoop. Now comes the tricky part of having the dog help you put the bumper on. Now comes the tricky part of trying to put the bumper on with the tow hooks at the front. Let's see how this goes. With the bumper loosely in place, we're gonna put the bar on to protect the winch and install that hardware loosely. We're not gonna install the fog lights right now, so I'm just gonna install the fog light bracket to hold the outside of the front of the bumper on. Now that I've got all of the hardware loosely installed, I'm gonna tighten up the bolts at the front first then tighten up the two winch plate bolts attached to the frame, and then finally the two bolts for the hoop. It turns out this needs a 16mm wrench, and I don't have a ratcheting 16mm wrench, so I'm living, so I'm living my life 1 16th of a wrench turn at a time. Now that everything's in place, we can put back the splash guard to protect the delicate sway bar disconnect. Now that the bumper's installed, we would normally install this winch hook, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to install this Factor 55 flat link because it will give us a closed loop system and also because it's black like all the other accessories on the Jeep. Now the flat link is installed, we can snug it up to the fair lead, take the Jeep outside and stretch out the new winch rope. If you're not sure how to do that, you can watch the video on the screen. For a bolt-on installation, this was actually quite difficult. If you remember, we had to modify the winch control box to get the wires to come out the side, and putting the front of the bumper on with just one person is really difficult. I hope if you have to tackle this, that this video helps you out. Please like and subscribe for more cool videos.